Check this out, folks. We making mashed potato salad. Listen, I'm not finna do all them crazy antics and do all that talking. We finna get right into this. So I want you guys to come on here and take a look right here. You see this right here? Look, these are red mashed potatoes, right? I, obviously they are, I left the skin on. You can do that, right? Uh, you can make these out of russets, however you wanna do it. Listen, I did the buttery milk, you know, creamy side, you know, mashed potatoes, right? Okay, look, we got eggs. I'm gonna be using Creole Kick, right? We got celery chives, sweet relish, and listen, we can go ahead and open up the discussion to talk about this. Do you guys do you use sweet or do you use dill, uh, dill? And then of course you gotta have a little bit of that, uh, you know, the, uh, the mustard, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get it going. Okay, so look, when we talk about like having mashed potato, potato okay, so it's really mashed potato salad, right? Look, to me, it's about the texture, right? So listen, I want you guys to come in here and take a look. We already had made this the day before. You know why? Because I like it to be chilled, right? It's a little bit, you know, it'll be a little bit rigid on the rigid side, but that's okay. You guys can like put it in the microwave, you know, or just heat it up for maybe like one or two minutes. You know what I mean? Just to get it going, but you don't want it to be warm. You know what I mean? So listen, I want you to pay attention to how you saw that I just did the dicing of my onion. When I say it's about the texture, look, we got mashed potato. We don't have the big chunks, right? So you want to have like small dice. Now, when it comes to the chives, I'm gonna cut these and we all know that we always just trim these up nice and small anyway. You know what I mean? Now make sure you got a sharp knife and they just, they look at that right there. It's like a hot knife through butter. All right, then we're gonna do the same thing with the green onions. You know what, I say same thing, but I don't think I'm gonna dice, and, you know, slice them down as small, right? Remember, it's about the texture, then you know it's got to look good too, right? And then last but not least, you can't do, if you ask me, you can't do a, a potato salad, whether it's mashed or just traditional, without having celery, right? So, I've already washed and cleaned it. I know you guys do it probably the same way. I, how, you guys talk to me down in the comment section below and tell me how far do you trim up? Do you wait till you don't see the white? If you look back here, you can see, okay, this is starting to become. And then I know that I'm gonna be dicing this down small, so I'll just cut it right there, look. Right, and then always at the top, I always like to make just one trim, right? Then, instead of me cutting them and they be in these little horseshoe shapes, I take the tip of my knife, and what I do is I just cut them down and I just follow the, you know, the grain, you know? We just do them like that. And you can get these as small as you would like, but don't forget, we are gonna go ahead and dice them down anyway. It's about the texture, you know what I mean? Like I said, we starting off with mashed potatoes. You know what I mean? So this is a little bit different, folks. So if you guys got any leftovers, this is where you want to go. Not that you're going to have leftovers when it comes to mashed potatoes anyway. And if you like my household, we always got that gravy, folks. You know, you want to get yourself a bowl, right? I'm going to start by just transferring, you know, because this is my Tupperware. This is what I had my, you know, my mashed potatoes in. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it here. This right here is a little bit over two cups. You know what I mean? Uh, so just double the recipe. Don't forget, look down in the description box below and I'll have all of the information down there for you. Whether you use my uh, my mashed potatoes or you make yours. Listen, if you make yours, you just wanna make sure you use that butter, you know what I mean, and that cream or that milk, right? Because that's gonna take the place of our mayo. Now, check this out. Here it is. You got it right here, look at the texture. Right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just grab some of these onions. I'm just gonna take a handful, cause I dice down. And don't forget, we wanted to dice down small, right? Maybe a little bit more. I can see it could take a little bit more. And then you guys make it and tailor it, make it the way you do it, right? So this is gonna be real, real familiar, you know, to normally what you do with regular potato salad, but again, we use mashed potatoes, right? So if you got anything left over as far as uh, those go, but usually I have gravy and them don't last long. So you can make these and do these the same day. You know what I mean? I uh, just want to make sure that you let your uh, mashed potatoes chill. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add just a couple of tablespoons, heaping tablespoons, you know, of relish. Uh, that's enough, right? And don't forget we got egg, right? And I got one egg that didn't want to peel right. You know what I mean? So I'm going to use him first. Go ahead and get my knife. Now look, I'm just going to cut it down. I'm going to do it old school. I don't I got to say this, my disclaimer is, you know what, Granny used to do it this way, so that's just the way I do it. And my knives right here are just like extremely sharp. So you got to be careful. You know what, to be honest with you, don't do it this way. Do as I say, not as I do. But for those of you guys who want to keep it nostalgia, you know what I mean, we just go ahead and do it like this. All right, so look, obviously I got this, you know, in here, right? So 
listen, we're gonna do a little bit of this folding like this, right? Now notice I haven't put none of my seasoning in here yet because what I'm looking for right now is just as I'm, you know, folding this over, I'm looking to see how it's mixing and I'm looking to see what I can see with my eye. Now, what makes it and levels it up, you know, completely is, you guys know I'm down with the Creole kit, right? And I told you this is a Southern mashed potato. If I hadn't said so already, now you know. Look, this right here, Mm, I don't want to say too much, you know what I mean? Just sprinkle it on, look at the color, because it's going to make you think somebody put that paprika on there right now, right? But that's that perfect blend of them Cajun, you know, and Creole uh, spices, right? And really, I'm going to just keep it real. It's more on the Creole side than anything, right? So look, we just fold this over like this. You're going to need to get yourselves some type of a uh, fork, spoon, or something, you know, because we got the taste. I can look at it and see the color ain't the way I would like it to be, don't forget, this is a low sodium product. Listen, it'll take salt, right? And don't forget, we fooling with a potato. So listen, you can go ahead and level it up, but I just suggest you do it this way. We taste as we go, and then we come up with something magnificent. Okay, so look, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here. Look, this part is key. You wanna put this in the refrigerator, you want it to chill. It'd be best to let it chill for like at least at a minimum of one hour, you know what I mean? Then you guys can take this, put this out on the table. Notice this bowl is a little bit on the big side. So you put this out, when you put it out next to your protein and everything else, and you let everybody pull from this. I ain't gonna lie to you though, as soon as I heat it and taste it, first thing I think about is, where are them beans? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop these over here on top like that, because we said Southern, right? So we're gonna go ahead and give it that, you know, that Southern look. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that. You guys gonna think right off the back when you see it that I'm sprinkling what? That part, I mean that uh, paprika. But check it out, I always hit it with just a little bit of this right here. Okay, folks, so look, now you can see, here it is right here. You know, I done already tasted it and ate it. I can tell you it's fire. I needed to go ahead and get myself a thumbnail. You guys probably see it in this, or you might see it in that bowl, but I'm gonna hit it over here because this is the same. With that being said, check it out, folks. Cheers. That's it. So listen, main thing is, listen, if you, if you happen to have some, you know, leftover, those work great too. Don't forget, look down in the description box. I'll put the uh, full ingredient list down there. Tell you guys how I made these, uh, give you the ingredients on how, you know, what I did to make the mashed potatoes. You can make them the same day. With that being said, I'm not finna over talk it. Check it out. If you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, mm, this is good. Listen, it's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm gonna take this right here, and I'm finna walk over there, and I'm finna make me some beans. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.